the vast expanse of the world's oceans has long been a battleground. As naval warfare evolved, so did the threats. Among the most dangerous are anti-ship missiles, hurtling towards their targets at incredible speeds. To counter this threat, nations developed Close-In Weapon Systems, or CIWS, the last line of defense. This essay compares two of the most formidable CIWS, Russia's AK-630 and the Netherlands' goalkeeper. The AK-630, a product of the Soviet Union, entered service in 1976. It quickly became a staple of Soviet and later Russian warships. The goalkeeper, developed in the Netherlands in the late 1970s, offered a Western alternative with its own unique capabilities. Both systems are designed to engage and destroy incoming missiles and aircraft at close range, acting as a final protective shield for their host vessels. These systems represent two distinct approaches to close-in defense. Understanding their strengths and weaknesses provides valuable insight into the complexities of modern naval warfare. By analyzing their firepower, design, and hypothetical combat performance, we can appreciate their continued importance in an era of evolving maritime threats. The AK-630 boasts a fearsome rate of fire, unleashing a torrent of 3,000 to 5,000 rounds per minute from its 630mm cannons. This hail of projectiles creates a dense wall of lead, significantly increasing the probability of destroying incoming threats. The goalkeeper, armed with a single 30mm Gatling gun, compensates for its lower rate of fire, 4,200 rounds per minute, with heavier projectiles and precision guidance. The AK-630's effective range is approximately 4 kilometers, allowing it to engage threats at a distance. The goalkeeper, however, boasts a slightly longer range, reaching out to 5 kilometers. This extended reach provides a critical advantage in detecting and engaging targets earlier. While both systems excel at close-range defense, their differing fire rates and ranges reflect contrasting design philosophies. The AK-630 prioritizes overwhelming firepower, saturating the target area with projectiles. The goalkeeper, in contrast, emphasizes accuracy and precision, aiming to destroy threats with fewer but more potent shots. The AK-630 features a compact and lightweight design, making it suitable for installation on a wide range of vessels, from small patrol boats to larger warships. Its modular construction allows for relatively easy maintenance and repair, a crucial factor in the demanding environment of naval operations. The goalkeeper, on the other hand, employs a more integrated design. Encased in a distinctive dome-shaped turret, the goalkeeper houses its gun, radar and fire control systems in a single unit. This self-contained approach reduces the system's footprint on the ship's deck and enhances its resistance to the elements. The AK-630's distributed design allows for multiple systems to be installed on larger ships, providing overlapping fields of fire and increased redundancy. The goalkeeper's integrated design, while limiting the number of units that can be practically installed, offers a high level of automation and requires a smaller crew to operate. The AK-630's high rate of fire and wide dispersal pattern make it ideally suited for engaging saturation attacks, where multiple missiles or aircraft approach simultaneously. Its ability to create a dense curtain of fire increases the likelihood of destroying or deflecting incoming threats. The goalkeeper, with its precision guidance and heavier projectiles, excels at engaging individual, high-value targets. Its advanced radar system can track and engage supersonic missiles, providing a crucial last line of defense against these deadly threats. The choice between these two CIWS platforms depends heavily on the specific needs and anticipated threats faced by a Navy. Navies operating in littoral environments where the threat of small fast attack craft is high might favor the AK-630's volume of fire. In contrast, navies operating in blue water environments facing the potential of sophisticated anti-ship missiles might prioritize the goalkeeper's accuracy and range.